the third problem is taken from gate 2008 exam and in this problem a lossless power system has to serve a load of 250 megawatt the load is 250 megawatt and there are two generators g1 and g2 in this system with the cost curves c1 and c2 respectively defined as follows so you can see how the two cost curves are defined here pg1 and pg2 are the megawatt injections they are simply the power produced by generator g1 and generator g2 and uh, we have to find out the minimum cost dispatch you can see the four options and now we will begin with the solution we need to serve a load of 250 megawatt so load is equal to 250 megawatt and we have two generators g1 and g2 in our system let's say this generator here is generator g1 and this generator here is generator g2 and together they are satisfying a load of 250 megawatt you can see how c1 and c2 are defined c1 is the function of pg1 and c2 is the function of pg2 c1 is equal to pg1 plus 0 0.055 times pg1 square and uh, c2 is 3 times pg2 it is the function of pg2 the power produced by the second generator plus 0 0.03 times pg2 squared so this information is given in the problem and uh, I will quickly differentiate C1 with respect to PG1 and C2 with respect to PG2. Let's see what we have after performing the differentiation. So differentiating C1 with respect to PG1 will give us 1 plus 0 0.11 times PG1. This is what we have. And if we differentiate C2 with respect to PG2, differentiating C2 with respect to PG2, it will give us 3 plus 0 0.06 times PG2. So this is what we have after differentiation. Now for minimum cost, differentiation of C1 with respect to PG1 will be same as differentiation of C2 with respect to PG2. I will write it down for minimum cost differentiation of c1 with respect to pg1 will be same as differentiation of c2 with respect to pg2 and in this way we have 1 plus 0 0.11 times pg1 equal to 3 plus 0 0.06 time pg2 when you solve it you will get one equation having two variables pg1 and pg2 i will write down the equation directly 0 0.11 times pg1 minus 0 0.06 times pg2 equal to 2 let's call it equation number 1 this is the first equation and uh, from here we can get our second equation because g1 and g2 are satisfying the load of 250 megawatt this means power produced by g1 generator g1 which is pg1 the power produced by generator g2 which is pg2 if added will be equal to 250 megawatt so the second equation is pretty simple PG1 plus PG2 will be equal to 250. This is the second equation. The next step is to solve the two equations. We have two equations and there are two variables. So we can easily find out PG1 and PG2. I'm not going to solve it. This is homework for you. This is homework for you. Calculate PG1 and PG2. And once you have your answer posted in comment section, you can directly write down the values of PG1 and PG2 or you can simply write down the correct option from A, B, C, D. Now I will end this lecture here. If you have any question, you may ask in the comment section.